Today is a good day. Justice has finally been served. The people of NYC can walk the streets at night a little bit safer after a huge influencer street racer named Squeezebenz has been arrested. Not only has been arrested, no one has ever seen his face and he has finally done a face reveal. And who was he arrested by? Well, it wasn't Spider-Man, it was the New York's finest themselves. For those of you who don't know who Squid Benz is, he is a masked criminal drifting his way through the police, embarrassing the police, putting people's lives. You're finishing up work. You're taking your kids to a fucking Disney World. You're having a road trip with your family and you see a guy coming at a very high speed, passing you by, almost hitting your mirror, causing you to have an accident and just putting everyone's lives in danger. He's been doing this for a while. He has like a million followers on Instagram, 300,000 subscribers on uh, YouTube. He's, he has a following on TikTok. And most of you know him from the collab that he did with Neon last month that I covered the video. Come, come. Come, 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 come. Oh, what the oh. fuck? Oh, shit. Just a few hours ago, NYPD Deputy Commissioner posted this, which says, Squeeze Benz is in custody. Thank you to NY, uh, New York's finest. One of the most prolific street racers in NYC can no longer treat uh, the Big Apple like an Indy 500. He also said to anyone thinking about putting themselves and others in dangerous, recklessly zooming through the streets of NYC, think again. You will be arrested and your car will be seized. You will face justice. And then he posted his Instagram page. Let's take a quick look of what he normally does at night. This is his content. <laughs> He has other type of content too, but I cannot show you because YouTube has been super sensitive with my content lately. But he basically passes red lights. You don't know if a kid, a grandma, or your mother is crossing this road. And he's just going through it recklessly with a speed that he cannot control. Not only that, he embarrasses the police so much to a point where, this is what I'm guessing, they put a special operation on him since they, they, he doesn't have a plate, since he doesn't, um, you know, he covers his face with a helmet. They, my best guess is they put an undercover cop on him to chase him everywhere. And the second he got home, he gets home, he takes off his helmet. They were like, yup, busted. We just saw your face. Boom, come here. Or if there was no operation against him, my second best guess is they caught Neon. They forced it out of him. And guess who broke the first second he was getting interrogated? Neon snitched. That's my second guess. This is his motto as well. If I go on a run from the cops, I'm going to make sure I either have an altered plate or no plate at all. I'm running red lights. I'm doing more than triple the speed limit. Double the speed limit. That's so fucking cool. I wish I was you, Benz. I wish. This is how bro looks like. This is the first time every, anyone is seeing his face. And I think there's a reason why he put a helmet on his face makes sense now most people are saying his arrest was coming from last month's collab with uh you know neon the way reckless driving it was in a hit and run with his own friend even though it was his own friend the video went like super viral and people are saying that's the reason why they put this operation on him to finally find him but i think he already gets views on with himself and they've been trying to catch him for a while now they finally did. And in this situation, there is no calling Sal. There is no getting away from this because every single thing is documented on his social media pages. There is no running away from this. I don't know how much sentence he's going to get, but I hope they give him what he deserves. But at the same time, he looks pretty young. I think he should be able to get out in about like 10 years, but definitely he should learn his lesson. The only person I believe who can get him out who shits on Sal Goodman's name is this new TikTok lawyer. <laughs> Bro can get anyone. Who is the best lawyer? Jayon. And why am I the best lawyer? Man, got my case to dismiss like it wasn't nothing. You get 10 life sentences, bro snaps his finger, boom, you're out. And when it comes to driving recklessly, putting other people and yourself in danger as well, all for the sake of what? All for the sake of views? Eventually, you will get caught. And he's been doing all this illegal stuff over the past 
like couple of years. I'm very surprised that social media platforms have not banned him yet. And the internet is 50-50 about this. Some are saying free uh, squeeze, free bends. Some are saying, thank God he's locked away, but he is sitting in a jail cell, punching the wall, just so angry to a point where, you know, his record, he's never been caught by the police before. And he's thinking about how the social media is going to react to this since they saw his face now. And they're going to make fun of him for getting caught by the police because he was in his head invincible. And now he's caught. It is definitely a very sad and a shameful day for him. Bro was waiting to do a face reveal himself and they ruined the whole surprise. And they forced him into taking a mock shot. Uh, to be honest, it's kind of like a cool first a face reveal having like a mock shot he's still waiting for his court date and some people on the internet in the comments they're saying that oh what about the grapes what about the theft what about the robberies what about those why are you focusing on someone like this you gotta realize that every single time he pressed record on that phone you don't know what's going to happen you don't know whose life is going to be lost it is worse than robbery this at this point the way he drives now good for him he knows how to drive he knows how to street race he knows how to fucking drift he knows he watched too many probably tokyo gifs when he was growing up and in his head he was like one day i'm going to be like this guy but instead of racing in private places or private roads he decides to risk everyone else's life because why because it brings views it is content why? Because in his head, he's the best. Now, there's definitely more street races like him and the police. I'm sure they're doing their best. First of all, not to get embarrassed by these guys because the fucking police, NYPD, in, in his videos, they, they look like absolute idiots. But I hope more people like this get arrested. If you want to do all these cool things, go do it in a private place. Go do it in a parking, private parking lot. You can drift. There's drift places like this as well. Don't put other people's lives in danger. What is it? What for? Fucking person dies? What? Oh, it's fine. I got like 100,000 likes on Instagram. But yeah, I just thought I'd share this good news with you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.